a live stream with you guys to do our fun badge reel project that you guys are so excited about. As you um, probably noticed, I have a little friend with me here today. An assistant. Can you tell them your name? Fallon. Say it loud. Fallon. Fallon. Look at the camera right there. They can Fallon. see you right there. This is Fallon. This is my little girl, Fallon. You've heard me talk about her a whole lot. Um, she is three, and she is amazing, and she's super excited to help with this project today. I actually asked Beckett, my son, to do it, and he did not even... Um, think about it for more than two seconds and said, no thanks. <laughs> Crafting is not his um, favorite thing in the world. He doesn't love to color. He doesn't love anything like that, but Fallon loves it. So train him up, train him up the right way is, is my motto. That's what we're doing today. There you go. Yeah. How many friends, do we have any friends with us? We do. We have some with us. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so we're very excited about this badge reel project. We did try to do this last week. Um, and you guys were so gracious with all of the issues that we've had. Um, but we just wanted to make sure that we had a very good long segment, uh, to really get to do this project with you guys. So that's why we chose today and Fallon is going to help us. She's very excited to do that. Before we get started with that, guys, we have so many fun, exciting things going on. Um, as you know, it is National Craft Month this month, so we are so excited about that. I love that there's an entire month dedicated to this wonderful uh, passion that we love. Uh, crafting, so how fun. But in celebration of that, we are offering you guys a discount on both our yearly membership and our Spring Summit. So if you use code MAKE, M-A-K-E, then you get $20 off our yearly membership um, and our Spring Summit. And Rachel, how excited are you about Spring Summit? I'm very excited. It's going to be here next weekend. Yes. It is going to be so exciting. We have so many awesome classes for you guys. We've got some guests. And this is Becca's first summit so yeah, my it's first gonna summit. be awesome yeah i'm told it's similar in like energy and funness to the weekend that we had for black friday yeah um which i loved that was so much fun hanging out with you guys for a whole day but guys it's two days two days of fun crafting together and way more projects yeah oh, um, yeah. so that's really fun i'm very excited and we're going to take a look at some of those projects um a little later on in the segment um i'm going to show you guys pictures of our styled projects that we have for summit it's very exciting um in addition to the 20 dollars off that we have for summit guys if you I don't know what Tanner has decided. I don't know if you have to attend like that weekend in order to qualify or if it's just Summit in general, but we are giving away do, 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 a Cricut Joy. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous of you guys. I don't even know what the criteria is gonna be for this. Oh, Fallon thinks it's very fun. Yes. Um, Fallon, tell them about this. Can you tell, what is this? Can you say Cricut Joy? Joy. Say it loud! Cricket Joy! Do you like a Cricket Joy? Yeah, so guys, yeah. if you haven't gotten to play with one or haven't seen videos um, or know much about it, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel. We, Tanner has some amazing videos on the Cricket Joy. But anyway, we are giving one of these away at Summit. It's amazing. So, so much going on for Summit. Like, again, the $20 off the Summit. Mm -hmm. um, and if you aren't familiar with Summit, Summit is a weekend-long um, event. So, it's going to be March 21st and 22nd. And it is, a, oh my goodness, cover your mouth. It is 10 plus projects um, that we teach you start to finish. Um, awesome videos. We give you the supply list for it. Um, and then we, we watch them live with you guys. We, you, we interact with you guys via comments and then in between segments and everything. So it's just a super fun, uh, weekend showing you guys new, uh, techniques and awesome projects. So it's awesome. I'm excited about it. Yeah. yeah. It and you get this discount so you can buy tickets up to like the day of the summit, but the $20 discount on that goes off tomorrow. Yes. Thank so you. You Rachel. guys have to mm -hmm. get your tickets, like get them. Yeah. yeah. So, and, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing Spring Summit just because it's so close and I, I just love the idea of the event. Uh, if nothing else, it just builds this awesome community of crafters and at Makers Gonna Learn, we have an, a fantastic community anyway. And Oh my goodness. We have a fantastic community at Makers Gonna Learn anyway. Um, and so it just, I feel like it's going to be a really good bonding experience for all of us, just building community even more. So oh, for sure. anyway, um, if you're just tuning in, we're making these awesome badge reels. Yes. The long awaited yes. badge reels. So guys, when I presented this project to Rachel, I, I say it badge reel. 
which it sounds she like says, it sounds like one word, word like bedrill or something and so I'm, like, I'm trying to enunciate and they were like what's a bedrill and i was like huh a badge reel she got completely finished with him and i looked at him and i said oh my god becca it's a badge reel okay i got it now yeah so <laughs> it's so funny but guys um, you all have been so excited for it we had a little bit of problems last week with this video so yeah. we wanted to wait and make sure that we could make it for you guys uh professionally so that you guys could ask all your amazing questions and we have gotten some about why we are live early and today guys yes. it's my fault it's so amazing that tanner and becca uh, were so gracious enough to let the live be early today yeah. because um my parents house is coming along amazing and it's mom's day to pick out some cabinets and things for the house and she wanted my opinion which I'm honored about so I'm leaving early to go help mom pick out cabinets so that'll be you. so fun yes yeah, so thank you all yeah. for your continued prayers and that's why we're early so I'm sorry it's my fault you can blame me so guys the reason I came up with this badge reel project was the the launch that we had is for nurses and for um uh, dental hygienists and teachers and a lot of the uh, member requested files that we had are professions that use badges so I thought this is fantastic you guys can actually use these uh, cut files for this project but if you aren't somebody who needs a badge reel I don't personally need one um, we also I'm going to show you guys how to just easily make a necklace um, and a keychain so everybody needs a keychain everybody can wear necklaces yeah um, this is just a really fun easy project and Fallon is here with me today this is my little girl Fallon if you're just tuning in and this project is so easy she is going to help us with this project she's very excited or she was excited now I think she's just bored <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get to crafting and that will um, eradicate that situation do you have anything you'd like to say to our crafting friends no okay so guys um we are going to jump into design space and start designing um the uh, files or um uh, yeah the cut files for this uh project so let's jump over there yeah, and a great thing is that becca is giving you guys a lot of freedom today yes. she's letting you guys pick some things which is going to be really fun absolutely so what we're we'll probably do six or so of these um uh, one of them fallon has already requested that we do a um ballerina so we're going to do a ballerina one that is not from this particular um launch it's from a launch that we had near uh when pro the pro two course was mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to choose five other or however many from this uh, members choice launch so guys i have up here on the screen some of our files from the members choice launch tell me which is your favorite which do you want um, it's, your, we, it's your all's choice now. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So we have the nursing ones. We have um, the police officer. We have teacher ones. We have um, hairstylists. Uh, can you please sit down? And the baseball ones. Anyway, you guys may know these better than I do. So if there's a specific one that you like, let me know. We will choose that. Um, I'm going to do the nurse's life because I know that there are a lot of nurse or maybe scrub life since we yeah. can change the color. Yeah, we can do that I like one. These. And I mean, something to think about, Becca mm -hmm. did an amazing job at this, but something to think about for you guys is to choose cut files that aren't necessarily gigantic, you know, like has a lot of words and things like that because you are filling it on a very small space. Yeah, it's a one inch circle. Yeah, friends. so you want to be able to see it. So, you know, think about that uh, if you're wanting to work with fonts and things like that, just to be a little bit weary about that. Right. Absolutely. So do we have any? Oh, yes. We, we have some for hairdresser, nurse. We should do the cooking one. Um, police, uh, nurse. Nursing is a work of heart. They love that. Uh, one saying police. Isabel saying one with a mom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're loving it. What have we got here? That's one, two, three, four, five. And then with Fallon's, we have six. So let's go with, no, wait, let me get rid of this one. We had, a, did, did someone say hairstylist? Did I hear that? Uh -huh. Okay. We'll do this one. Okay, so we're just going to insert all of these here. It'll take a minute just because I, whoa, look how pretty that is. I love it. <laughs> yes. So what I'm going to do is is hide these. You're hungry? Oh, my goodness. We'll get some food in just Bella a second. Bella has been snacking this morning. <laughs> she is hungry, friends. Okay, so I'm going to minimize these other ones just because it's easier to work with one at a time. But the first thing I'm going to do is go into the shapes um, and select my circle. And then I'm going to size it down to one inch because that is the size that we're working with. So I'll just go up to the top um, and press one and then enter. 
and it just sizes it down beautifully there. And what I can go ahead and do is duplicate this um, an additional five times because I know that I'm gonna need six total circles. So I can do that a couple of ways. I can right click and press duplicate, or I can just make sure that that layer is selected as is and then go over into the right hand panel. At the top it says duplicate, so I'm gonna duplicate that way. So here we go. You can actually copy and paste this as well. There are so many different ways to do this. Um, but whatever is, you know, your chosen method is perfectly fine. Let me delete that one because I have too many. Okay, so now what I'm going to do um, is just start taking my cut files and sizing them down small enough um, so that they will fit on uh, our little circles. So, um, do we have any preferences about the color of Love is in the Hair? Background and four, or the police one, anything like that, go ahead and shoot those out. And I am not looking at the screen, so Rachel will have to let me know what you're saying. Yeah, no, I will let you guys know for sure um, if you have a preference. Becca did an awesome job on the ones that she made, kind of changing some colors of the SVGs to match the, the background, things like that. So, I mean, yeah, so is... I thought that would be fun today. I mean, yeah. We can leave some of them as is if yeah. you guys prefer that. Um, or we can change them. Yeah, yeah, just whatever you guys want to do. Okay. And Becca, again, we are missing, or that police file um, is not fixed yet, so we'll go ahead and uh, delete that fella. Oh, and it's not. No, nope, it wasn't fixed. Or the one that we uploaded wasn't yes, fixed. Yes, I'm yet, sorry. So that's okay. Totally fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and find another one really quick then. I did not even notice that, guys. Um, it won't let me scroll. And, okay, so Becca, um, she forgot to mention this, but I'm sure she will because we haven't had any amazing questions yet. In the description down below it has all of the links to these amazing badge yes. reels and things like that that Becca worked so hard on. I will um, drop one link of all that good stuff. Well, never mind because it's way too big. So, you guys, just go down to the description and get all those links. Yeah, and I'll definitely talk about it as we use it too. For sure. Um, so this Love is in the Hair um, has two layers to it. So the words are one layer and the comb is another layer. So I can change both of them if I want or I can change each one uh, to a fun color just by selecting that layer over in the right uh, panel. Um, I don't know. Rachel, what color? This is the hardest part, guys. So maybe if Honestly, you Honestly, I was thinking like a really light gray. I light don't know why. Gray. Okay. I was thinking a really light okay. gray. For the comb? Okay. Yeah, and then let's just leave that as is, and we can change this to, what, maybe navy? I don't know. We'll see. Let's get it over onto this circle here. And a fun thing here is that you could do it depending on, like you could do it your hospital colors. You know how the hospitals sometimes have colors like yeah. colleges and stuff? Especially like the teacher ones. You could definitely make the teacher ones um, so the same cute. colors as yeah. your, um, your school colors. Love okay, it. so guys, you can see when I pulled that up there, um, the file is behind the other layer because I added... I added the file before I added the circle. So that's the way that it works in the layers panel. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just go, um, I have the circle selected. I'm gonna go up to the top where it says arrange and I'm gonna press send to back. It's super easy to do that. Um, now I'm going to size this down just so that it fits in there nicely. And you'll see that looks like it, um, like you can't read it. It looks really awkward because the outline of the cut file um, is visible right now. And so what you can do to see if you really like that is select both layers because you're gonna have to do this anyway. And then you can go to the bottom right hand uh, side of the panel where it says flatten and press flatten. And when you do that, ta-da, look how much better that looks. You can actually read it. You can see what it looks like. Cute. If for some reason you decided um, you didn't like the placement or didn't like the color or whatever, you can unflatten. It's not a permanent um, thing. So that's really nice. And okay. Becca, Miss Lisa said, what about a monogram when monograms would look gorgeous Ooh, in this yeah we have some um scalloped monograms that are a circle is that in here yeah it should be there yeah. i mean that Let's would be do one. awesome okay. 
So um, cute. Well, let's start with O. We'll do Fallon's monogram because she's here with us today. Fallon. What's your what's your last name? Do you know? Yeah, yeah. She's being very quiet, which is um, not normal. What's it called? Scallop. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. I don't even see it. Mono okay, Scalloped Monogram Center. So, guys, if um, you are not a member of Makers Gonna Learn, our fonts are one of the amazing <coughs> um, benefits of being a yearly member. Um, so, only yearly members get these fonts. This is just one of the, the awesome ones that we have. Um, and if you're not familiar with monogram fonts, there are, I was very confused at first. Um, there's a left monogram font, right and center. Um, and I can't see. So let me see. You can Scala, go on down. I'll tell you that is. one's left. Okay. That's the one I need. Mm -hmm. Um, so there, there's an E, there's a file download for each individual one, which just totally confused me in the beginning. Um, but here we go. And you can see why there is a different one because especially with these um, circular ones, like this is supposed to be on the right side, but it doesn't look like it fits because it doesn't. I need to select the one that says right. Look at that. So good. And that, that'll fit on there perfect. Yeah, that'll and I've got to zoom cute. in because I cannot see. I can't see what I'm doing. Here. Get as close as you want, Becca. Okay. So you're just going to size this up so that um, it makes a nice circular shape. That actually looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is select all three of these using the shift, not the control. Select all three of these and group them together so that I can um, move them all or resize them if I want to. But that actually looks pretty good. So let's change this fun color. Fallon, what is your favorite color? Can you say it loud? Purple. 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 Okay, so let's choose purple. And then let's change this circle here to, what's your second favorite color? Blue. blue. Okay. Let's do a fun blue. These are not my favorite colors, friends, but this is what Fallon has chosen. So we're going to do what Fallon has, has spoken. Okay, so now um, you can see that the alignment on this is a little off. So what I'm gonna do is select both of those layers, the circle and the monogram, and then go up to the top where it says align and press center. There we go. Now that one is ready to flatten. So I'll just select both of those layers again and press flatten. That actually is really cute, Fallon. Thank you it for is. that suggestion. It sure is. Super cute. Now I can, let's see here. This one says, find the good. Let's zoom out here so we can find it. There it is. Let's leave these colors as is. I think this color is really pretty. I think it's so cute. And then we could do like a light gray background with it. Oh, there's our ballerina over there, Fallon. Do you see her? You do. I see her. She's so cute, isn't she? Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're just changing these colors. I love this because you can totally customize all of these to yeah. however you want. Um, and these specifically, you know, just change the colors, but use our fonts and um, make your own. Like that wonderful monogram suggestion was yes. amazing and that. it's totally customizable. So that's awesome. And another thing that's great about this uh, type of project is that because you're printing it, you can go into those advanced colors and if the cut file itself is not the type of colors you want, yeah. then it has all those advanced colors that you can really make them exactly how you want them. Yeah. And guys, if, uh, is, it, is it RGB, RB, RBF, RBG? What? There's like the For color the rainbow? Code. Yeah. The, Roy G. Biv. But yes. So it's RGB. Yeah. Yeah. There are, there's a website, well, there's lots of websites, but um, if you Google search our uh, RGB color finder or something like that, there are websites where you can upload like a monogram or an image or something like that and click on part of the image and it will tell you the actual code for it. And then what you can do is go up here where the color, um, where the, the color box is, press advanced. And then this this uh, number and letter combination down at the bottom, you would put that new number in that you've gotten from the picture and it oh, pulls up the exact same color. So you Becca. can color match. Yeah. Wow. Right? It's wow. a good one. 
Okay, so that one is ready. I'm gonna flatten it and look, you can see those pretty colors again. Now I'm gonna zoom out and find Fallon's cute little ballerina. Here she is. Fallon, what color would you like your ballerina's background? Black. Okay. Rachel, for some reason, I cannot scroll and bring it over here. Okay. Wait, I may have it. I may have it. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> That's not funny, Mom. Oh, it's not funny? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. No laughing. The, no laughing. These lobs You're are not, not supposed to, to be fun. <laughs> these are serious. That's not funny. Mom. It's not funny. Okay, so Fallon wants this background black. I don't know how much you're gonna see it. Let's see here. Oh, you can kind of see her there. She kind of pops a little bit. She pops a little uh -huh. bit. I like it, Fallon. Black. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put her there. We'll flatten this one by selecting both and pressing flatten. Now we're gonna go over to Sucker Mom, and we have to zoom out here. Um, any soccer teams? Do you need a specific color for this soccer ball? I don't know. Shoot it out. Let me know. Oh, Miss Tracy says it's her favorite color, too. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is it good? No. No? Oh, it's not good now. Okay. So, uh, let's just change this soccer ball to... Found, or Beckett would choose this lime green color. <laughs> I don't love green in that color. Green is my favorite color, but lime just green... Just not that. I'm not green. a fan, I got you. I'm not That's a fan. Good. Let's change it back to... Let's do an orange for... Vols. We're we're Tennessee fans here, friends. Don't hold it against us. And then we're gonna make the M's gray because orange and gray, that's a Tennessee thing as well. And then I'm just gonna make this background white because I think um it'll pop nicely. That will pop. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So I'm gonna send this to the front here so that I can size it and see what it looks like. And then I'm going to select both of these and press center. So we have that one. Oh, I dragged it there. Okay. So I'm going to select both of those and press flatten. And then we've got one more. Let's do this nursing. Now, guys, I'm a little concerned about this one. I'm not going to lie. So I'm probably going to hide that one um, just because, well, you know what? Let's do it. I think it might be too busy and too large for this, but we're gonna see. It's trial and error. Um, I can try it for you guys, and then you don't have to waste a project doing it. So, let's change this background color. Um, let's see here. Per, let's do it gray as well. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, drag it over here, again, arrange Send to front. Mommy. Yes, pumpkin. I love you. Okay, so that is gonna be centered as soon as we select both of them and press align and center. But guys, did you see what happened just then when I did that? It centered it to the left. Um, well, it looks like it's to the left because of the way that the file um, is. So like naturally you're not gonna be able to center that with the actual left to right margins of it. You have to um, center it by the body of it. So you're not gonna be able to use that tool by any means, um, just eye it and go with it. So we're gonna select both of them and press flatten. And guys, it's that easy. All of, that, all of the design is, is finished. Um, we are ready to press make it. Are there any questions about any of this yet, Rachel? Do I need to go over anything or show anyone anything? Um, let me see here. It doesn't look like we have any questions per se. I think okay. you're really inspiring people though because they're thinking about how cute these would be for planner stickers and things like yes. that. Yes. Which is a great idea. Speaking of sure. planner stickers, we at Makers Gonna Learn are a little obsessed with making stickers with our Cricut uh, vinyl right now. Uh, we, so Tanner got, or Blake, excuse me, got Tanner this cute little Bitmoji sticker for Christmas and then I was, it inspired me. My entire laptop is now covered in <laughs> stickers. Yep. I may grab it and show you guys. Yeah, your ear. And so then Tanner and Blake had a fun, um, I don't know, bro crafting session. It was hilarious. <laughs> and sent pictures. Their laptops are now completely covered in custom stickers. Like and Rachel is not jumping on board. Like Chick-fil-A drinks and Chacos and 
and a bunch of little, I mean, it's hilarious. I think it's the funniest thing ever. They're all so excited about putting their stickers on their laptops. And I don't, I mean, I can totally do it. Don't matter to me, you know. But they have really tricked theirs out. They have. Tanner says he's taking it slow. He's only filled up like the bottom half of his laptop. Yeah, that's Because he funny. said he wants to find more passions and then fill up his laptop. Well, I already know my passion, so that's why I did it. And when I show you, like, I, I don't think mine could be more perfect. But that's just me. Anyway, so guys, we are ready to hit make it. We're going to go up to the top right corner and just press make it. And you can see... If you were making these, I personally would make enough to fill the entire page because we're going to be wasting quite a bit of vinyl at, um, with this. I mean, I could easily have put what? Probably. Oh, man. A lot. 6, 12, yeah. 18, 20, over 30 more on this. So. And I mean, if you were doing this because with Makers Gonna Learn, you actually get a free commercial license with this. So yeah. if you guys chose to sell these. For yearly members. With that year, yeah. yeah, with that mm -hmm. yearly membership. Fill the page up anyways because you know you're going to find more nurses and things like that who want to make these. Or, heaven forbid, you have a project fail. You have some already printed and ready to go. Right, okay. right. So, but we're just going to do these because we have these six and it's fun. And now we're going to press continue and send it to our printer. And guys, I normally pre-print these things. So, fingers crossed, prayers to the good Lord that this actually does correctly. I think it's going to be fine. We will see. So I've sent it to the printer. And we're... Oh, it's printing. Oh, yay. Yay. Hey, Fallon, can you go get that picture that's being printed for Mom? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's running. Wait till it prints all the way out, okay? Okay. Okay, it's ready. It's ready. Bring it up. Thank oh, you, yeah. Fallon. Okay, friends. Lucky there. So... Um, let's go over supplies really quick before we do this. I want to show you guys more in depth what our supplies are. Uh, what we are printing on is Cricut printable vinyl. So uh, these are eight and a half by 11 sheets. These are from Cricut. Um, we, I don't know. If, yeah, I did. The link is there. Um, and you can use, if you purchase them from Cricut's website, you can use our affiliate code um, MGL2020. MGL10 or MGL20. It's either one. Try 10 and try, okay. try 20. I think it might be 20. And you do get a discount on those. So um, if you want these, there are other printable vinyls. This is just the one that we're using today. Um, and like I said, the link for this is in the bottom uh, description. So we have those. We have all of these. Let me just pull this whole tray over. These guys are flattened bottle caps. And I did not know that you could purchase pre-flattened bottle caps. And um, they come in all these colors. The link for the one that I bought is in the description. And w there were like a hundred of them and they are not expensive. They're, I don't, I don't even remember, but you guys can look at that. Uh, we also have these badge reels. So it has the little clip on the back. Um, and then this stainless steel um, wiry thingy that pulls back in. So, um, these particular ones that we're using are no longer available on Amazon, but I did link to another one that had good reviews. So that is there for you. These guys are epoxy bubbles. And when I thought about doing this project, I thought that I was going to have to use resin and make my own type thing like this and then put it on top. So I thought it was going to be a, a decently lengthy process, but you can buy these in the correct size epoxy bubbles already they're adhesive they're uh, self-adhesive on the back which is amazing those are linked as well and then the adhesive that we're using is this e6000 i really was impressed with this i hadn't used it before um, but i was very impressed with it um, in addition if we're if you're making a necklace um, or keychain excuse me then you will need a drill and drill bit which we've got over here i'll show you in a second and then um, just some tools to put the hardware on so um, are there any questions about any of the supplies? Um, someone is a little bit shocked because it looks like you've printed wider than the print and cut will allow. I don't know. It's supposed to be 6.75 by 9.25. So, so the registration might... marks are 7 inches, but the actual print is 6.25. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Though. But yeah. no, I had the same thought when I printed this. Well, no, no, it wasn't this. It was something that Courtney printed out, but it looked huge. And we were like, oh my gosh, what have we done? How have we done this? Did you hurt yourself? I'm so sorry. Okay, 
So now that we've gone through that list, if there aren't any questions, what I'm gonna do is take my light grip mat, let me pull these over to the side, and just put uh, my printed vinyl on the light grip mat. Guys, I will say, this has had plenty of time to draw, but if you're just pulling it out of the printer, uh, make sure that you don't touch this before it's dry because if these registration marks smear it all, then your uh, machine will not read it. So um, it's ready. I'm gonna put it in my air two here. And someone said, I can't wait to make these. Last week, Tanner showed keychains and necklaces that were made in the same way. Do you have recommendations on what you use for those? So again, guys, Miss Becca has all the amazing links in the description for you guys to get. So know, that baby. is super fun. But you guys can make keychains, the badge reels, or the necklaces. I personally want some keychains. I love oh. keychains. Yeah. So we do have the keychain. We have the necklace. I had to find the keychain in the floor because <laughs> Alan lost it. Um, hey, Rach, can you select um, okay. printable vinyl for printable us? Printable vinyl. I can indeedy. Printable vinyl. Thank you. And then while this is cutting, I want to go and show you guys some of our summit projects. Do you um, want fast mode or no? No, just do regular okay, since sure, we'll be. Sure, it sure. won't take long anyway. You're good to go or should be. Okay, perfect. So let's head on over. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Rachel. Two seconds. No, you're good. It's rough sharing a mouse It is. You're like, what? <laughs> Okay, so let's go over here. I'm gonna show you, um, like I said earlier, if you're just tuning in, we do still have, in celebration of National Craft no, Month, it is working, baby. It's reading it right now. Excuse me. Um, so in celebration of National Craft Month, we are giving you guys an awesome discount on both our yearly membership and our spring summit. And if you have specific questions about either one of those, please let me know. I would love to answer any questions that you have about those. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little look at what our spring summit projects are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? Beck is excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> This project Miss Courtney made, it's the one on the very bottom that says yeah. Blossom. It has our test tubes in it. And she she shows you how to do this technique with our stain and a stencil and all that fun stuff. Yep. Um, so, this is a really neat technique. Yes. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. And she was so excited to be able to do it because it's it's new. You guys will love to do it. And you guys are going to just fill your home with decor just like this. Yeah, I hadn't done this great. before. Uh, okay, so that's... Um, a close up of the that project, and then we have this cute project. Um, is this the one? I'm trying to remember. This is balsa wood, isn't it? I let me think. Yeah, I think so. I think. Oh no, this is just so Courtney was way too amazing guys in one class she created two projects yeah to make sure she included everybody one she created with the Cricut Maker and one she created with the Cricut Explorer Air 2 so yeah. this is a wood round yeah. that she this is uh, the one with the with the Air 2 yes absolutely yeah, mm -hmm. for sure okay and so this is the one that she made with the maker um she cut that awesome little hanger out of uh I think it was balsa wood um but just using a maker I love these projects this is totally her vibe so I love that she got to incorporate it in some projects for you guys. Um, but yeah, she teaches that. This is an awesome class that Rachel is showing you guys how to do. It's these adorable, um, let me go back because it was closer up, these adorable clay photo um, holders and that's HTV or regular vinyl? That is regular vinyl. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So she's going to show you how to roll it out, how to form it, and then give you baking tips for it and all of those fun things. So fun. I love how customizable these are too, yeah. especially with colors. Yeah. It's a um, fun little craft. You because like you're in, in preschool again playing with Play-Doh. Yeah. yeah. Super fun. So this, is, this would be a cute one to do with your kids or grandkids as well. Um, so we've got those. Oh my gosh. I love this project, guys. 
I uh, oh, this, this is, is pressed flowers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So this is one that uh, that I got to teach you guys. I was really excited to do that, and I give you guys some techniques on how to press your own flowers. If that's not something you're interested in, I give you ideas on where to buy other flowers, um, and then just uh, some acrylic tips because this is two pieces of acrylic um, that is sandwiching those pressed flowers, and then uh, we've drilled holes in it to put these wall mounts loved this project. I love how bright and cheery it is. Um, oh my gosh, this is two projects in one guys. So this is a kind of three. If you can. honestly, yeah, it is I mean, three. You're right, Rach. So this is, this was a, this is a long one too. <laughs> it is a water slide decal on a candle. So she's going to show you guys how to put that water slide decal on these candles. She shows you how to build these wooden lanterns, how to paint them and do that awesome distress paint technique. That Rachel's really good. These? But she's so good at it. Like she looks, when she does it, it's like she's been doing it for years. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and then these adorable lamb's ear wreaths. She's going to show you how she put those together as well. So three projects in one, guys. This project is beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, is this the one that Court said, can I, can I have these yeah, in my yeah. house? Court said, I'm just going to keep these. Is that cool? I'm like, sure, Court. That's fun. But Love guys, it. if you're just tuning in and you're wondering what these awesome projects <coughs> yes. are, these are our summer summit or spring summit projects that is happening next weekend. The ticket to get this is on sale today and tomorrow, uh, $20 off. So if you guys want to get in on 10 amazing classes with amazing teachers, we get to answer all your questions. You get entered into way uh, to win giveaways. Then you need to click that link in the description or that I'm dropping the comments and get your ticket. For yeah. Sure. So I'm, um, I'm going to go through the rest of them because I'm loving them. Um, this project is two projects in one as well. Actually kind of three because I taught you how to make the um, planter hangers. I taught you how to make, this is felt eucalyptus in the top, not the bottom. Guys, that is not real. It's felt eucalyptus, that, guys. Oh, so cute. Stoked to know how to make it. It's so easy, guys, too. Um, then I layered, I don't know if you can see better in this picture or not. I layered um, two things of HTV. So we painted that picture that says Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Put white HTV on it with an awesome tile um, cut file that we have. Um, we're using it like crazy guys. Yeah. We love that cut file. And then HTV on top of that with the Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Loved this project. I'm very inspired by it. Um, and then this cute little project. This is actually from our um, frame course 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, we do have the, um, 1.0, <laughs> the regular frame course. Um, and then Tanner wanted to do an extension of that with a frame course 2.0. Um, and so we have, so this, he's, he teaches you how to make this actual frame. This and one other frame. So there's two frames. And there's a in picture in here class. too. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they're awesome. So if you guys want to step it up, want to make more, uh, different frames than last time, want to make more money doing it because frames like these that take you a little longer, that means you get more money out of them. Right. So it, this is an amazing class. Frame 2.0 will be in this spring summit. You guys don't want to miss it. And I know what you're thinking. You might not want all these classes. You might just want to get the frame one later on. Yeah. You guys will pay about a hundred bucks for one class or you can pay a little bit more for 10 classes. Right. And you can get 20 bucks off today. So it's yeah, a no Yeah, using code guys. MAKE, M-A-K-E. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so anyway, this course, it doesn't teach you how to make that adorable little lammy, uh, but I, I just made this last night because I needed something to put in the frame. It, that lamb is one of our cut files. It actually has three lambs in it, and I sliced one out. Um, so if you didn't know, it's very easy to manipulate um, cut files in design space to accommodate whatever you need. I love um, that you made this, Becca. Right? I so it has it. the two little lammies, and then um, it says the lambs and established 2016. Guys, those are two of our fonts that are available to yearly members. Um, I love, especially that fun, um, it's not cursive. What's it? Script, script font. Yeah, Thank you. Font. The gorgeous. fun script font, um, is one of, one of my favorites. Uh, I think, I believe it's highlight reel, but anyway, that is available to our yearly members, which is also our yearly membership is also $20 off using the exact same, uh, coupon code make, uh, M A K E. Anyway, here's another shot of that. Love this frame. This is the other frame that Tanner teaches, guys. Oh, it's so cute. Right? Oh, my gosh. So this is like a double frame. Yeah. It's kind of like the one we taught you guys last time, except 
on steroids because there's really no angled cuts in this. It's almost easier than the other ones in the other class, but it looks more professional. It looks more rustic, looks more put together. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And then I love this cut file. So this came out this month, right? I think so. I or think it was so. in the farm it, house. It's, it's, but we were trying to figure out what in the world to use it for. Yeah. And then I thought, well, this looks so cute on this wall. I didn't even have anything on this wall. I moved my old uh, sewing machine over to put it here. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so cute. Maybe I should steal this project and leave it here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I didn't. It's back. It just disappeared. Yeah. One just day. disappeared. So there's that project. And then this project, guys. Oh, this my, one's yeah, cool. right, Fallon? It is so good. This one's cool. So, so this is with the Joy, the Becca. Pudding. Yes, the Cricut Joy. Yes. We're, yeah. we're featuring the Joy. And now, again, Tanner goes in so much detail. You do not have to have the Joy to use this, of course. It just helps so much because the Joy can cut a lot longer than the Cricut can. Tanner breaks all this down for you guys. And, I, I mean, guys, it's so cool. You guys are going to love this. And we broke down the price. Guys, you can literally do this per step for like a dollar fifty. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Mel said, You're killing me. Now I have to get summit tickets. Mel, yes. do it. Do and it. use our coupon code do it. make M A K E. Get twenty dollars off that summit and then come craft twenty first and twenty second with us all weekend. I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on um, step by step making these projects i can't wait just to have fun with you guys and laugh and oh my gosh i already know that my belly and my stomach are gonna hurt or my belly and my face are gonna hurt yeah. from smiling and, and laughing, laughing yeah. all weekend but i'm so fun. excited about it so guys um i'm sure rachel has dropped that link a million times if not she can drop it again for our spring summit um this is this is the landing page for that it's super easy go in use the code make m-a-k-e get twenty dollars off so now that we're finished with that Let's go back over to our B cam. Our cut is finished. And I'm gonna pull it out. It was super quick. I talked forever. It was super quick. Just okay. little circles didn't yeah. take long. Super, sure. super. So you can do this a couple of ways. You could like pull off this um, extra. You know, I don't have a weeding tool in here. What? Is, oh, wait, here's one. It's just not my favorite. For this, it's okay. It must have just ran off. Oh, it didn't want to go through there. You know what? I should have burnished. That's probably why. Actually, guys, don't burnish. No. You might, yeah. Burnishing is not a fantastic idea because I don't know if you can see or not, but over here I've kind of scraped off some of the ink. So maybe just do it with your hands instead of a, a um, sharp scraper. And Susie, anyone know if I need to seal print the cut vinyl for a cup? Absolutely, Susie. We love uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You can get it on Amazon for like um, under $15. It's a great it's a great thing. We love to use that for mugs. Okay, yeah, let's move this stuff. You can help me craft. Are you ready to help me? Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Don't talk like that. They're not going to be able to understand uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. you got to understand the assistant. Yeah, she's got her tongue out talking to you all, so that's fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is get our fun little box over here, and Fallon is going to help me pick out colors. So, Fallon, for, let's start with yours. So, we're going to do this um, cute little ballerina. For this one right here, Fallon, what color flattened bottle cap do you want? Purple. You want purple? Okay, I like it. So, she is going to help us. Fallon? We're going to take this off. Fallon, then, guess who's watching you right now? Who's watching? Sis. <gasps> Say hi, sis. Hi, sis. Hi, Say, sis. what are you doing? What are you doing? Say, are you having a good day? Uh-huh. No, ask her. Are you having a good day? Yes. Yeah, she's having a good day, friends, in case yeah. you're yeah. wondering. Yeah. Okay, so you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, you can just take it off with your fingers and place it, or you can use... Um, some tweezers. I'm going to let Fallon just place hers. Fallon, you're going to put it right in the middle right here, okay? So use your fingers and put it right in the middle of that bottle cap. That is good, Fallon. Oh, Becca, she's a nasty. That is good. We're going to just move it a little bit. You did so good, but Mommy just needs to get it off that. Does that look good? Okay, and then just push it down. So that's what we're going to do for all of these. Fallon, this love is in the hair. What color What color should we do? I like green. Green. Okay. Guys, um, 
these colors again. This is we have a three-year-old choosing this. Green. Yes, it is green. But this isn't horrible. Sis, what do you think about this color choice of Fallon's? <laughs> um, oh, Sis says she just had Chick-fil-A and she didn't know that you were crafting today. Do you want Chick-fil-A? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. what about this one with your monogram? What color should we put with it? Green. Green, okay. We got the green one here. These are styling and profiling. Styling and profiling. Guys, these are just like stickers. It's so easy to use these and manipulate them. Um, this project, I can't get over how easy it is. Okay. That's what blew me away, I So think. look at this one. This is the one that we were afraid you might not be able to see because yeah. it's so busy and big. But I think, honestly, it's easier than even this one. Yeah. Just because of color choice. But So, yeah, definitely you can use that one. Okay, so this one that says find the good, what color should we put with it? Uh, black. black, okay. But guys, Becca's right. Like these are these are the easiest projects ever. Like these are so easy to make and to create and to sell and everything like that. And just to know how excited you guys were for them. I I was so excited for Becca to show you, you know, and these have turned out awesome. Oh, let's do this one. And don't forget all the links for these are in the description. Let's do this one. So if you guys want to know where to get it. It's right down there. So, guys, um, I probably should have, before I started putting these down, uh, the ones that I want to make into a necklace, I should have drilled the hole beforehand just because if I mess up with the drilling the hole, um, then I can just grab another one that doesn't have um, the sticker already on it. But it's okay. We're going to we're gonna work through that. I think I can do it and not mess up. Uh, so if you're making, like I said, if you're making a necklace or a, a keychain, then drill that hole first. Um, what about this one? Yellow. Okay. That's a good choice, Fallon. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a drill really quick. Meg is breaking out the power tools. Breaking out the power tools. Sally, you unfortunately cannot help with this part, but you can look at these while we're doing this. And we are just going to get our smallest itty bitty little drill bit that we can find. Mommy. Yes, baby. No. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put this in here. That is a tiny drill bit. It's tiny, and the last uh, drill bit that was in this apparently was the biggest one that you can find. Okay. It was. It was for the one you used in the summit. Which was the Yeah, which was one. the biggest one we had. <laughs> okay, so I have this piece of wood here just so that I can drill through... Um, I can drill through this and not hit my table. So I'm just going to, on the very outside um, of the bottle cap, so the rim, not actually in, inside, but on the rim of the bottle cap, I'm going to drill a tiny little hole. Let's see here. And where is Beckett, Becca? Everybody wants to know where Beckett's he at. He is with his hey, Nana. Hey. Do you what see do you the see? Duckies, I'm gonna have to pull this Fallon? this way so I can see better, guys. I'm sorry. Mommy. Are they the duckies? Yeah, did you and Rich feed those duckies earlier? Ugh. Let's see. Oh, uh, this is a good question. Back up, Miss Susie says, do you get to choose the colors of the bottle caps or does it come in a mixed bag? This particular one that I purchased, you do not get to choose. It's a mixed bag. They're good um, colors, though. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure that you can, I'm sure that you can purchase just solid, like, a bag of solid green or whatever. Okay, so can you see the little hole that I made right there, right in the outer rim of it? It's titanic. Oh, it's I see itty it bitty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Itty bitty. So I'm gonna do that um, to one more that we're gonna do the keychain on. Let's see here. We'll do and this fun one. Someone said, let me find it, um, that they found a tiny little metal hole punch that you can get at Michael's. Nice. So that's great if you don't love power tools or anything like that. That'd be good. I don't know. Have you used it on these flattened bottle cups before? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Uh, Rebecca says, would it be easier to drill from the back side? Maybe. 
Yeah, it actually, it absolutely would be. Uh, but the reason that I was doing it from the front was so that I could try to line it up at the top here, which is oh, another yeah. reason why you should drill the hole beforehand. So I'm going to do this one. It's just a separate one. And as you can see, putting it right there is definitely easier. Definitely easier. So don't make the mistake that I just did. Drill the holes first. <laughs> Listen, we, we make mistakes so you all can learn from them, you know? Well, when I was making them, I actually didn't do that. But I got so excited about Summit, and then Fallon distracted me, and then I goofed, and it was yep. fun. Yep, Okay, so now what we're ready for... Do you want to help with this part, Fallon? No? Okay. Now we are ready to do these epoxy bubbles. bubbles. So neat. So, guys, these are already... Uh, they, they have adhesive on the back right here. If you take them with your hand and pick them up i'll just show you and do that pop it off and then stick it oh no yeah you have that's a nice fingerprint that's not cute a nice fingerprint there you don't want that no. on something that you're no. giving to someone or using yourself or selling so you do need um to use tweezers for this yeah i'll bring that camera in good and tight yeah too, okay you think can we have like arrows on this <laughs> Uh, Left and right, you'll get it. or in and out. I will never get it. It's you'll always opposite of what I think. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna pop up this in here. Use our tweezers to pick it up, and then put it right on top um, of our little sticker. Look, so easy, look. guys. That's literally all there is to that. And love it, like, it. I love it too because it sort of it almost seems like it magnifies the image to make it a little bigger. Yeah, or it really does. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do all of these. You want to help? You do want to help? Okay. I'm going to let you do this one. All right. She's, she was missing out on the fun. Back she was already. missing out. Can you hold this tweezer? And then you're going to put it right there. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to tweeze right here and let go. What a good, good job, Fallon. You want to do this one? Okay. Right on there. Guys, these reverse tweezers are my favorite thing in the world. And then you get in a groove and start doing it pretty fast, you know? Well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if you did a whole sheet of, like, 30 or 36 or however many will fit on a sheet, like, assi assembly line all of them, it's so quick yeah, and easy. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Well, we don't have another one. We can make more later. Maybe after the lab we can make some more, okay? Going to make some for your school friends? Yeah. Okay. So, we've got our badge reels here. We're going to pull this out. Are we, you want to do four badge reels? This is not. Badge reel? Badge reel? Badge, badge <laughs> reel. I'm sorry. Okay. This E6000, um, which apparently I can't even open. Guys, I glued it shut. Hold on. Let me grab some pliers. Listen, that E6000, that is not for the faint of heart, Becca. No, it's not. That stuff's rough. Good stuff, though. So this, um, there we go. This stuff, I honestly didn't know if I was going to like it or not because I, I don't like the dry time. It does have a little bit of a dry time on it. Um, so it's not like you can put it on there and then go. Um, but I think if you used hot glue or something like that, it it would pop off a whole lot easier. So that's why I love this E6000. I just put some in the middle. Um, you don't want so much that when you push this down that it seeps out. So try to keep it toward the middle because like I said, when you do push down, um, it's going, uh, it could seep out. So just put it on there. The nice thing about this is though, is that it isn't instant dry time come to find out because then you can kind of position it and make sure that it's really even on there. Um, so depending on how much you use of this will determine how long it needs to dry. Um, this does say allow 24 hours for curing. Uh, maximum bond strength may not be reached uh, for up to 72 hours, but after 24 hours, when I came back to play with them, I couldn't budget at all. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was fun. It may have been before that even, but I don't know. We got a thumbprint in the middle of that or something somehow. Oh well, that one's balanced. She'll, she'll still like it. She'll love it. Yeah. So what have you guys, have you guys used E6000 before? What have you used it for? Rachel and I were having this conversation earlier. Yeah, I haven't used it for much. Just very uh, seldomly will I use it on 
projects that I don't want to move ever. We also love the DAP Rapid Fuse uh, all-purpose glue. We love the DAP, but for some reason it's a little bit thinner where I think we want a thick, strong bond mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So I, I, I like that Becky tried to use this for sure. Well, I was thinking about using it. I want to attach aluminum to like a wood recipe box. Uh, so I was thinking about using it for that. I think I think it might actually work pretty well. Yeah, I'd we'll so. see. I'll let you know. Um, there we go. We're finished with this. See, you guys, that is just—it's so quick and easy. And then just make sure that you're setting this. Um, I, while they're drying, I wouldn't like accidentally make it kind of on its side or something like that just because you don't want it to move you don't want it to dry um, in a position uh, that's not centered so lay them flat on their backs on a tray or something like that out of the way um, so that they dry nice and even oh what happened Fally? oh oh my goodness y'all right Oh, oh my goodness, we tweezed oh no. ourselves. Oh no. We tweezed it's our hands. It's a bad day when we tweeze ourselves. And I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised we're not having an absolute meltdown. You're <laughs> Fallon. You are awesome. You're so big, Fallon. You're, you're so, so big. brave. Good job, Sister yep. Pants. <laughs> Her face, guys, I wish you could see. Yeah, she's, she's not like, happy. No. Hers is not happy. I'm not, though. <laughs> okay. So now we are ready um, for these necklaces. Fallon, we're ready to make your necklace. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Cut you, it, cut it. You're going to cut it. No, we're not going to cut it. We're not going to cut it. No way. Yeah. Okay. So we have these jump rings. Guys, jump rings are available if you're not familiar. Uh, jump rings are available in the jewelry section um, at your local craft store. So we're just going to grab um, a couple of those. Two pairs of pliers. Oh my gosh, you, you keep pinching yourself. Okay, friends. Oh my That's goodness. Bad. Listen, Let's see. It's Let's a see. bad day. Oh my goodness. Okay. You know, when I hot glue myself sometimes, yeah. I just want to cry too. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> I did a hot glue gun accident the other day. Oh no. And it was live and I was like, okay, okay. I've burned myself, but it's okay. You were like, it's okay. Just, yeah. Mm. We have real tears, friends. Gotta walk off Are you the all right, pain. Fallon? No, you're not okay. Okay, so I have this jump ring in the end of one of my pairs of pliers and then I'm going to put my other one right here. I don't want to open it. Well, I have another one. I'm just going to show you what I don't want to do. You don't want to do this. Do's and don'ts. And pry it out like this for a couple of reasons. One, you just don't get it back in the same exact spot. Okay. And then two, it's like warped. So instead, put it in the end of the pliers like I had it. I know you have a boo-boo. I'm sorry. Boo -boo. We'll get a Band-Aid oh in a little goodness. bit. Um, and then twist it this way. So, so, oh, so like open it. So open it like sideways this. instead of out. Yeah. So we're not yeah. opening this way. We're twisting like this because we'll put it in there. When you go back, it goes in the same spot and it doesn't make it, dis it doesn't distort the shape of it. Super easy. So we're going to do the same thing. We got this, um, these come already assembled. So it's just the chain and the actual key ring. Um, you can purchase them just like this. And you do the exact same thing because it has a jump ring on the end of it. So we'll pry it out like that. Slip it in here. Scoot it up a bit, Becca. We can't see I'm sorry. Anything. There you go. And then just push it back. Perfect. How easy is that, guys? Oh, cute. So easy. You can put them on kids' backpacks. Yeah. You can give them, you know, anything. And then, I mean, you can use any type of necklace. You can, no, don't do that. You're going to squish yourself again. Um, you could use ribbon. You could use leather. You can use these fun little... Do you remember what these actual necklaces are called? I don't. These little beaded ones. Well, we have E6000 on this one now. It got dragged through the glue. That's okay. That's all right. So easy, guys. What do you think? Is this as easy as you thought it was going to be? I hope, I hope so. Is it so. easier? I bet it's easier. It's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It's, I, and I'm just, I was blown away by how excited everyone was to make this. I know, me know? too. I was excited to do it with yeah. you guys. Yeah. So are there any questions about any of the, pro, or any of the supplies, any of the procedure, anything like that? Well. Rich, if you want to move back over to the other camera, then we can. Sure can. 
Can it looks like everyone is just really happy uh, that they know how to do it now. Yeah. They're so excited and thankful that you have links too. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, let's see. Melanie says, I don't see the silver badge reels, just the black. Okay, so, Melanie, earlier I did say, uh, yeah. you may not have been here, um, those unfortunately have sold out. I don't know if you guys bought them all or what. So I did have to link another badge reel. Um, it does have good reviews as well. I'm sorry. I did. You can search. I I searched, uh, I guess, stainless steel bad drill or something like that. Um, I did find some other ones, but they only had like two star reviews. So that's why I didn't want to link that for you guys. Um, I did want to link something that had some decent reviews on it since I haven't personally used it. Um, but since you don't really see, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it should be fine just to use the black ones. Uh, so Seth said, how tight are the clear dots on the tip? How tight? Clear How dots. Tight. Oh, maybe they mean, oh. oh yeah, for the badges maybe? Do you mean? Um, what, do, what do you mean to set? Let us know. Hold on, I'm trying to find one. My clear, kid has dropped all of them in the floor. Clear dots She's a bit of tip. a disaster. Okay, so are, do you mean, uh, I'm looking up here and I shouldn't be. Do you mean the actual epoxy bubble on the top of it? Um, I could try to pop one off. I mean, it, she has, she had a time peeling it off of her finger. I feel like it's okay. So I'm pulling one. Tight. It's not coming off. Um, the actual. It the the vinyl comes off before the epoxy does. So if you can get underneath the vinyl, it will come off. But honestly, like I literally had to pry in with tweezers underneath that. It it's not going to come off. Yeah. Um. It's, it's on there good. Yeah. Yeah, I was impressed with it. And if, if for some reason you thought your vinyl adhesive um, didn't have a good seal on it or something, I don't know. I mean, maybe you could use another, like, dry adhesive. I, a Cricut printable vinyl is, is good and sticky, so I'm not concerned about it at all. I don't know if other printable vinyls have as good of an adhesive on the back or not. So that's right. something to keep in mind for sure uh, when you're doing that. Hey, Fallon, can you say hi? They can see you now. Can you say hi? They're in that camera. Does that blow your mind? She's We're hungry like, no, and she's grumpy. Like, no, it doesn't blow my mind. <laughs> I'm used to it. So I funny. You dropped more of them? Hey, Fallon. Mm. Fallon, sis loves your messy buns. She loves your hair. What do yes. you say? What do you say? Um, yeah. Say it loud. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, if you don't have any other questions about this project or the supplies, procedure, whatever, uh, we're gonna peace out. Yeah. Um, remember Summit and the yearly membership. Guys, I didn't talk much about our yearly membership. Yeah. If you Maybe have any questions, show shoot them, them out. Yeah, let's yeah. show them the yearly membership. I, I'm so like emphasizing Summit because I'm so excited about it. Um, but honestly, our yearly membership is our flagship product, project, or no, 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 product, excuse me. And if you guys are wanting to um, help support us, this is the best way to do that, uh, to purchase this yearly membership. And also, guys, you get so many benefits from the yearly membership. You get, this is 200 plus fonts, but I think we're up to 300 plus fonts now. Um, yearly members only are the ones that get our um, fonts. So yeah. you get 300 plus fonts as a yearly member. You get the free commercial license, which means that everything that you make um, with our Makers Gonna Learn cut files and fonts, you get to sell. Woohoo, it's legal to do that. Woohoo, uh, it's legal. <laughs> you, you don't want to be illegal, friends. No, please don't. Don't do that. Then you also get three free online courses. Um, one is how to use your maker. One is, I believe, how to use Design Space. The other is building your business with your die cut machine. It's an awesome course. Um, that just helps you know know what products to use when you're selling, know how to price yourself, know, I mean, just all the ins and outs of starting up a business yeah. with your die cut machine. Yeah. It's really amazing. Um, and then also we have, of course, our wonderful cut files with over 2,500 cut files that we add to every single month. We have a member's choice launch every month, which means if there's a cut file that you want that you don't see on our site, Email us, put it in our Facebook group, let us know. 
Um, and we like to try to give you guys the cut files that you want. So we do release that every month in addition to more fonts and then just a regular uh, cut file release. So like a themed cut file release. Yeah. Um, Trust me, guys, we keep you busy. Yeah. We keep you busy yeah. for sure. I mean, it's like a community because you have access to the members only Facebook group, which in itself is an, just an amazing so good. perk there with everybody just lifting each other up and asking questions and posting their projects and everything like that. And then of course you get the cut files and the trainings and the printable guides and all the fun stuff just to make sure that you guys are the best crafters you can be because that's what we want to do here we want to inspire you guys and give you guys we want to invest in you guys because you invest in us and that's that's what we that's what we do you know Right. Um, I see. A, I see a question. Is font launch next Thursday? So, Madeline, yes. I love that you know our schedule. No, so, font launch is two Thursdays from now. We what's have this Thursday? The collection launch this coming. Oh, Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misspoke. No, that's fine. We do have a release next Thursday, but yeah. font is two weeks. Okay. That's correct. All fun oh, stuff. Oh, guys, guys, next week's fun, or next week's um, collection is really fun. Let me switch to you. Okay. Beck yeah. is excited. It is so fun. Yeah. Um, so just to give you a little, uh, well, I think I, t I think I spilled the beans one other one. You want to get down? Okay. Can you go over there? Um, so it's a 3D collection. So like all different kinds of cut files that are 3D and you put them together. Amazing. I had so much fun making the projects for it. Um, but yeah, so that's next Thursday. But guys, the coupon code that I was telling you about um, that you can use toward Summit, you can use also toward our yearly membership. So make M-A-K-E, get $20 off and then craft for 365 days with us and this awesome Makers Gonna Learn community that we have. Do we it. really would love for you to be a member and yes, craft with us, guys. Absolutely. If you have any questions about collection hints, uh, what is the other, what's the next? Oh, I just gave you, yeah, yeah 3D that's collection. It. Sorry, you. sorry. Say, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Excuse me. Yeah, she's gonna say it a million times. There you go, it's fun. <laughs> Fine. That's fine. Anyway, if there are no questions about the membership or summit, uh, I'm going to give you just a minute. Throw those questions out there. I would love to answer them or show you something if I need to show you something. Um, we love, we love our crafty friends at Makers Gonna Learn. And I know that you would love the Makers Gonna Learn community as well. Uh, sometimes I'll find myself on our private Facebook group just scrolling and then I'm like oh my gosh it's been 30 minutes and I'm scrolling this just because you guys like build friendships via that Facebook Facebook group really and do. like help troubleshoot there are so many people who will post things and um they're like I need help doing blah 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 that's really heavy and, and so there are so many comments that come through immediately just helping troubleshoot and they're like oh my gosh I feel so stupid and everyone is like no that is what this platform is for it's for helping other crafters because there are times that even Rachel and I will be crafting and we just get totally stumped on something and we're like, oh my gosh, when we hear the solution, I knew how to do that. But sometimes it just leaves you. And so this community helps with that, um, helps with inspiration on craft ideas. Um, just, just so many wonderful things. I really love our Makers Gonna Learn community. In fact, if we didn't even have the cut files or the fonts, I think the membership alone uh, would be worth having the community and the inspiration I think and so friendship. Too. I honestly do. Like, I'm so not too. just saying that. Yeah. I honestly love our Makers Gonna Learn community. And it's because of you guys. So, yeah. so thank Fallon, you guys. Do you have anything that you would like to say to our friends? Do you want to say bye, Fallon? Say, get to crafting. Get to crafting. Get to say, crafting. Say, by the summit. By the summit. Are yep. you going to be here mm -hmm. for summit weekend? Yeah, you are. She's like, no. Say, come craft with me and my mommy for summit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I hope that you did enjoy this badge real project. Um, I hope that you make lots of money making these and selling them as well with our commercial license. Um, have fun crafting this weekend and we will see you guys here on Monday, probably 1.30. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but Rachel's going to be with us on Monday. Yep. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Bye.